Hello again. A film has recently been released in this country called The Lady of Heaven. It is about the Prophet Muhammad and his family and it was made with the assistance of a Shia Muslim cleric. Most Muslims in this country are of course Sunni and a lot of them regard Shia Muslims as heretics. This is one reason why Saudi Arabia and other uh, fairly orthodox countries are happy to make common cause with Israel against Iran, which is a Shia nation. The differences between the two groups need not concern us. They involve the succession of the first caliph, whom the Shia denomination feels should have been a member of the Prophet family, rather than Abu Bakr, who actually got the post. The point is that Sunni Muslims don't have much time for Shia Muslims. And when they heard about this film, there was a widespread determination that it should not be shown in towns where there were a lot of Sunni. I am sure that regular viewers will know that I am well disposed towards Islam in general, but I am also very much opposed to anybody meddling with free speech or trying to censor what I can read, hear or see. In the description to this video, I give a link to a short clip of film which was taken outside the cinema in Sheffield, which was showing the Lady of Heaven. Just move towards the end of that piece of film and see how many angry men are outside that cinema. There are hundreds of them. Now, here is a curious point. If hundreds of white men descended on a cinema and started shouting angrily and chanting slogans because they disapproved of a Muslim film being shown there, say members of the English Defence League or something, how many police do you think would turn up? Well, I think they would outnumber the demonstrators. Now look at that crowd of hundreds of angry Muslims and see how many police you can spot. None at all. No wonder that Cine World have announced that the film will not be showing in any of their cinemas now. They have simply caved in and pulled it. Why have they done so? According to Cine World, quoted in a newspaper to which I give a link, they've done so to ensure the safety of our staff and customers. In other words, Cine World has felt threatened and feel it is not safe to show a film made in Britain to a British audience in a cinema in Britain because a lot of foreigners are objecting to it. Just savour this situation for a moment and ask yourself again if you have ever seen a mob of hundreds of angry men making staff in a cinema feel threatened and intimidating and driving away customers without the police becoming involved. They have been handed a free pass to intimidate people and nobody seems to care or be inclined to get involved. Like many people, I've had just about enough of this kind of game being played in my country and I think it's definitely time that we started asking ourselves how we can put a stop to it. The authorities may be content to see mob rule and lynch law on the streets but I for one am not happy about it. 